So Paul Navin, was that was one of my favourite tracks. Yeah, yeah, it was a very lucky track for, for me as well. Um, it was the two of us rode a lot for Noel, and he was always very lucky there. The closest, closest race, of course, to him. Um, a lot of winners for him there, and uh, for a lot of other trainers as well. Um, so it was always a lucky track for me. Yeah, it's Navin, that first meeting in November. It's it's the kickstart of the real winter racing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, sort of when the the ground gets soft, you know it in Navin, all right, and you know the winter's in. Then yeah. horses start getting tired, and good ones <laughs> coming home. And over the years, you would have ridden some great horses there. What would yeah. be the the ones that stand out for you? Uh, a lot of wins on Limestone Lad there. Um, Aaron Concerto, Ip Metoff won. Um, Nick and all won. I think he won before he went to Cheltenham. Same as Sassaluto Bay. A couple of them. Um, Watson Lake won a lot over mm. over fences. What's the Cockardy affair? He won his novice chase there. He didn't things didn't go quite the way we wanted with him, but we thought he was really good mm. that day. Um, a lot of other good horses won there as well. Yeah. Um, any particular memories that would stand out for you? Um, I think Nick Nor impressed me one day, um, and I thought the way he won that he'd win in Chatham. And Noel begged me and begged me to get off and to ride um, Mr. Nosey. And I said, I said I couldn't. I um, thought the way he won in Avenue that he'd, he'd, he'd win in Chatham. So I was lucky I stuck to my guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the only time Noel got around giving you instructions? No, about no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and it me tough when he, his last big race, when he won there, um, it was sort of a hard time for for John O'Mara at the time, mm. so it was great to give him a boost as well. Um, things like that, like it's always been a good race course, actually, kind of way. A lot of plenty of winners. And the track itself, what would, what did you really enjoy about it, or where did you find it? It, it used to kind of suit me, because I like to come from behind, and you know a horse is going to stop near the end. Mm. Um, but it is, it's a long straight, you don't want to be committing too early, because you're going down the dip, and if you, if you haven't got enough petrol going down the, the dip, you're not going to have much on the way up it, so. You need to save a bit the whole time. And um, over the years, falls, injuries, how did you At Navanor it was okay. Didn't yeah. get too too many falls. Um, well, probably falls, but not too many breaks. I think I escaped probably a couple of collarbones and wrists and things like that, but nothing too, Minor too major. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember getting knocked out myself. It was only a five pound claim or got knocked out of the ditch away from the stands. And at the time there was no ambulance road going past that part of the track. So by the time the ambulance got to me, I'd come round. But I didn't know where I was. Yeah. I went out in the next race. I thought <laughs> I was in Bellius Town. Um, finished second in that, but managed to win the next one after that. So, so it's do right just as well that the family didn't get to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's a great track. It great is memories. a great track, yeah. Um, really staying, staying horses mm. track. They can, um, what was another one was Pandorama. I won, won a novice hurdle on him. And I'd say he won about 30 lengths. Like he yeah. really slogger and Gallop through and gallop through. Um, a couple of them horses, suits that, that sort of track. Emphasis on stamina. Yeah. Mm. So the Carberry family, you have a great connection with Navin over the years. Your dad, yourself, yeah. Nina, Philip. Philip, dad. Um, what are your memories Pete, of your dad Peter when Jones. he was riding? I remember we were very young and he got a father at the last and he was running up in front of the, the other horses. So that doesn't mean I say the horses were fairly slow at the time if he was going up in front of them. <laughs> But that was one of the memories I can remember, he was getting a fall and running in front of the horses. Um, so I wouldn't have got to see him that much, like it was, we were fairly young. But, uh, he did, he trained a couple of winners with, mm. with us riding him. Um, I know I rode native status to win there, and probably Philip did as well. So, um, great connections there with the yeah. Carberry family as well. Nice. And Nina rode lots of winners too yeah, for Noel. And yeah, exactly, lots Tony of proper winners, yeah. The Tritown is on on the 21st of November, a great race great over race. the years. You yeah. went close one year. Close one year, um, on a horse in Olds, I can't think of the bloody horse's name now, but he, he finished third, blew up going to the last, and he won the power, Paddy Power afterwards. Um, John Corr. Yeah, If John that's Corr. the colour, Moscow, Moscow Express colours. Yeah. Yeah, and Concerto, yeah, John yeah, Corr, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, his horse, yeah. Um, just just blew up going to the last, and that was the closest I got, third. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was always a great race, just didn't happen for me. Like. No, Robert Power was training along with him too to win it as well, and he eventually got it. Last year, yeah, cavalry charge down over the first, over the first few, and then you get a posy. Yeah. Cross, cross appeal, did that mean? Cross appeal. Was he wasn't a big horse. Cross appeal. No, a small horse. Yeah, he was a good juvenile horse, and he was. It's, a, it's they don't usually get them to keep running to mm. that sort of age and win a paddy power, but he did. So, um, tough little horse, but 
good jumper. Well, good, he wasn't a great jumper at home, but at the track he was good. <laughs> <laughs> he started fighting at home, but uh, the track he was good. So it's a big day on the 21st of November, Tritown Chase Day, lots of activity, family fun, everything, celebrating 100 years of Navan Racecourse.